right, so we have with us today Rhonda. Rhonda just finished our training recently, and we wanted to chat with her about her experience uh, with the ABS training program. So Rhonda, thanks for joining us today. If you would, could you just share um, briefly kind of what, what was your, what's your business background and your work experience and what, what led you to uh, the, uh, a job, uh, well, not a job, a business uh, in healthcare and specifically, you know, medical billing and revenue cycle management and that sort of thing? I have absolutely zero business experience, not a single thing other than all my life I've wanted to own my own business. I have 30 years of clinical, in the hospital, healthcare experience, uh, which uh, uh, helps with the terminology for coding and billing, but otherwise I have absolutely no business background and I saw this opportunity and it checked all the boxes on something I've always looked for and for me it's the perfect business startup opportunity with all of the materials and everything the support that ABS supplies. Great that's awesome so uh, you feel like you have uh, enough information now that you've gone through the training, even though you haven't ever run a business before, um, you, you feel like uh, you, you've got the tools that you need. <laughs> I think the ABS training was amazing. It went through everything of how to run the business, what to do for a startup, supplies the marketing materials. The training was amazing. The training went step by step through every bit of it, how to market how to talk to physicians, what the products are, different marketing materials, different marketing tactics. There's webinars, there was handouts, and the training was completely custom tailored to me and my needs. And I could stop and ask questions along the way. It was, it was great training and I can't think of anything I would have done differently with the training. It was, it was great training. And the other great part about ABS is the support is there, the ongoing support is there. A lot of the marketing materials is already laid out for you so you can hit the ground running. Yeah, great. So now you you were in healthcare, you've been in healthcare. Is that is that a uh, was that do you feel like that was any kind of advantage at all or or what 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 were you doing in healthcare before? I've been a physical therapist for 30 years, so I have clinical background. I know how to talk to a physician, but other than that, it's a totally different arena. And I, but I feel that training ABS gave me, gave me all the tools I'm going to need to run this business successfully. Very good. So, uh, did you look at any other? Training programs or or opportunities. I mean, what what about ABS kind of what about our model caught your attention? I have looked at many models and franchise opportunities. In fact, I've looked at franchise opportunities for many, many years. And it's always a huge startup cost in franchising. There's ongoing fees and you're very dictated in what you can do. And you have to have a storefront and inventory and huge funds. And I'm a single parent, I've never had a, a huge amount of startup money to do it and the all of the things it would take to have a storefront, which isn't what I really wanted to do anyway. Uh, I found this opportunity. I did look at several other franchises and I realized that it was not anything that I was interested in. And I had over the past year gotten my coding license, so certification. So I oh. am a certified coder. So I do think that part of my experience will be helpful, but that is not necessarily what led me to this business. So when I found this business and the business model ABS offers and all the training material, the website, the support, and my background with healthcare and mostly the coding, it, it, was, it was a no brainer. I think I restart, researched it and made the decision and pulled the trigger in under a week. Yeah. Um, now you're certified in coding. Most of our owners um, are not certified in coding. Do you think that's going to 
Um, do you think someone who's watching this that's not certified in coding should worry about not being certified or? I don't. I, I don't know that that gives any advantage over the business side of it. It may have the credential after my name on my email signature, but other than that, I, I don't think at all you need to have your coding certification or billing certification or any other certifications to be able to run this business. Yeah, I mean, obviously the credential is good uh, and having that education is, you know, very beneficial, uh, understanding, you know, terminology and that sort of thing. But we do have, you know, as you know, we do have the code right service where we have certified coders that can provide the actual coding service if a doctor needs it. Um, so that's why, you know, most of our owners uh, don't get that coding certification. But yeah, absolutely. I mean, any any education that you have in healthcare and terminology and, you know, that's, that's only going to be a benefit, you know, for you, of course. Now, you, you mentioned finishing the, the, starting the training pretty quickly after you came on board and signed the agreement and such. Did, were we able to kind of fast track your training and get that done pretty quick? How long did it take to finish? I, I did 10 sessions in 10 days. They completely fast tracked it according to the <laughs> schedule and what I wanted to do. I think she said it's faster than some people want to go, but they custom tailored it 100% to me. We outlined it all and hit one every single day. And it was, it was perfect training. I appreciated it being fast tracked and tailored to what I, I needed. And I don't think having my certification gives me necessarily any business edge over anybody else. I don't think it should discourage anybody from looking into this as a business. Yeah, I think we were able to, it made sense to do it with you because you do have a little bit of a grasp of the industry and terminology and stuff. So yeah, but uh, most of the people that go through the program starting from, from zero, we recommend, hey, you should do two to three sessions per week because it's, it's a lot of information coming at you. So, but, And yeah, I'm not currently you. working, so I have yeah. the time to do it. Yeah, well, I'm glad we were able to get that going uh, for you. So um, do you feel like your your trainer had the experience to help you and you know were you did any questions go unanswered or you know how, how did that how did the training go in that regard the training was phenomenal there wasn't a single question that she couldn't answer she gave me a ton of resources every she pointed me with the marketing materials it's on the website Everything I needed was there. I can't think of anything that I had a question about after the training. Nothing went unanswered. Very good. I like hearing that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and when the training was completed, um, you know, we did send you your certificate. Did you get your certificate? I had the certificate by the end of that week. I got all my training materials within three days, or my marketing materials all arrived within three days. I've been um, taught how to order additional marketing material, got the website up and running. That website is better than I expected, a website that's included to be, and it's it's wonderful. Yeah, so you um, have you ordered your custom materials with your logo and everything yet, or? It's in the works right now. And the work, so you you do have your logo created. You've got all that stuff. The logo's created. The business license is obtained. It's on file. Everything everything's in place for it. The logo's up and the website's running. So, um, so let's talk about the transition from from training over to support. Um, we encourage you to set up a call with our head of support, Tim. Um, has that happened? Did you did you have a chat with him? A welcome call. I had, I had a chat with support the day after my training. He pointed me how to use the site, where to get answers, how to get a hold of him, how to email in, everything I needed. And I reached out several times to support and got the answers I needed quickly. Yes. Oh, good, good. That was my next question is have you have you utilized support <laughs> phone or email and are they pretty pretty good to respond? quickly? I've, I've used both email support and phone support, and I had a second personalized uh, support meeting with Tim, got all my questions answered, got everything outlined for me. Awesome. Very helpful. 
Awesome. Well, it, uh, it sounds like we've probably met your expectations up to this point, so I won't ask that question. Um, <laughs> but uh, now, now on to the good, oh, what were you gonna say something? I'd like to say that it exceeded my expectations. As I finished every training, I said, this is even better than I thought it would be. Excellent. <laughs> awesome, I love hearing that. Yeah, I, uh, you know, you and I worked together before you, you came on board and um, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to convey all that the training provides and all the content that's there uh, before you come on board because we can't just give away, you know, we can't give away all our secrets until you come on board, you know, but I hear that all the time. People go through the training and they're like, wow, this is so much more than what I thought. There's so much more opportunities for revenue streams and the different services that you we have and, and all kinds of good stuff, so. I said that every day as my, my training wrapped up. I said, it, it, it exceeded my expectations, not just met my expectations. I love it, I love it. So let's get to the good stuff. Do you have any prospects? Do you have any potential um, strategic partners? Uh, what, what kind of, what have you been doing since the, you graduated? I actually have established a few strategic partners and I just, finished up a conversation about an hour ago with the office manager of a huge cardiology group. So they have about 16 physicians and they are currently looking at the virtual care monitoring programs. So I have been speaking with him and then I have a couple other strategic partners that I have found over the last couple of weeks and spoken to them that we are we're good partners, we complement each other, but we don't, we would be great referral sources for each other, but don't compete for the same business. So that's awesome. So you've got a lot of potential for, for uh, referral partners, um, some folks that you're talking with about some of our services. That's, that's awesome. Um, have you done any practice analysis or demos or anything like that for the iClaim system or? Not yet. Uh, getting COVID literally on my eighth training session kind of knocked me behind a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but right, I'm, yeah. I'm making those connections now, doing some uh, networking and establishing more strategic partners and uh, trying to get in with the practice managers and practice phys or the physicians themselves. Yeah, yeah. You and I were talking about before I hit record here uh COVID hit you guys and man that just that, that thing is such a bummer man it just it puts everything on hold I'm I'm so sick of it. it does uh, so I'm I'm really glad that you guys are back and healthy and you and you and your your daughter right you both had it correct yeah so good good to hear that you're back on track now um well that's that's pretty much all I had for now I mean I, I definitely want to uh, interview you again when you get your first client if you'd be open to that we would love to chat with you absolutely again. absolutely i i cannot thank you enough for this opportunity with abs it is literally the answer to the business i've been looking for for 20 30 years and i'm very excited to go down this path well we are very excited um that's that's what we do this for. I mean, we, we, we have so many success stories from people that say that their lives have been changed, you know, by this opportunity. So we're glad you were able to join the ABS family. And um, any final thoughts for someone who's looking at this opportunity and they're just not sure if it's for them or not? I mean, do you have any kind of words of wisdom for people that are exploring it? I don't think you're gonna find a better opportunity with the support, the materials provided, the business model outlined and the ongoing income that you can get. I think it's life changing and I would encourage anyone to look into it. That's awesome. Thank you so much for uh, chatting with me today, Rhonda. Um, stay in touch. If you need anything at all, you let us know, you let me know. I mean, you have my cell phone, so. <laughs> you do, if, I do. If, if support isn't uh, <laughs> responding quick enough, you just text me, all right, and I'll help you out. <laughs> <laughs> I will, thank you so much for everything. All right, well, have a good rest of your day and uh, we'll hear from you soon. Sounds great, you too, bye-bye. All right, thanks, Rhonda, bye. bye.